All right, in this video, we're going to go over the solution for the three questions you guys were assigned for section 1.3. So they want you to write an equation. As a default, we're going to write it in slope-intercept form, where m is the rate of change and b is the y-intercept. The y-intercept is also known as the starting point. b is your y-intercept. Interpret the slope. To write the equation of the slope, that's going to be y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. The difference of the x, the difference of the y values over the difference of the x. Let's begin with question number one. You can do rise over run here, but we're just going to use the formula here. So to find the formula here, it is rise over run, just one over 10. But to uh, to make sure that we don't have any confusion, we're going to do it using the formula. So here's the formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. This is x1, this is x2, this is y1, this is y2 y2 is 51, y1 is 50, x2 is 10, and x1 is 0. 50. Since we know the two points and we know the slope, we can use the slope here to find the missing y-intercept. Since we do know a point, we're going to pick the point 1085, and we're going to label that x comma y. So that when we replace it, the x will go in place of here, okay? The y will go in place of here, and the slope will be replaced with the slope that we got here. Now let's show the answer. This will be 85. The slope is given by 1. The x is given by 10 plus b. b is what we're looking for. b is the y-intercept. b is the starting point. No, it's hard to guess, so instead we're going to do it this way. 85 equals to 1 times 10 is 10 plus b. I can swap this if I want to, or I can just go from here. Minus 10, minus 10. B equals to 75. 75 is my starting point of this graph. We couldn't tell just by looking at this, right? I thought it was 77. You can't really guess by just looking at it, so you must do it this way. Now that you have the y-intercept, which is your starting point, and you have the slope, which is the rate of change, we can put them together and write the equation of the line in slope intercept form. Let's write it. y equals the rate of change which is given by 1 and the starting point which is 75. This is your equation and that's how you do this assignment. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.